All right then. Now, I've got to tell you something quickly. I'm releasing this as part of my Christmas videos, Christmas 2012. Originally, this slot was going to be played, this slot was going to be filled with Eerie, because it's something that I've wanted to play, and I thought it would go quite well in this Christmas list, but I can't get it to work. So I was fretting and frantically thinking, what am I going to play instead, what am I going to play instead? And then I remembered, we haven't heard any more about um, Clive and Billy for a while. So I thought we might play Slender's Woods. And I've even got, even got the hoodie. There was someone who asked me, is it a particular brand? And yes, I think it is. I can't remember. Um, right, okay. Slender's Woods. Let's see if I've actually still got this saved. I hope I have. I've got to try some different tactics that people have given me now. Um, story mode plocks, mode game plocks, there we go. Lovely. Yeah, so um, it's still in the house, or just to the right of the house, that's fine. Um, so lots of people have tried to tell me lots of different ways in which I can get this. Um, obviously watching Slendy, or being nice to Slendy didn't work. Um, right. So I need to get to the house. So what people have said to do is to walk all the way to the house and then sprint all the way back. Go around the lake and sprint back to the sawmill. Right, don't use your sprint up until you get the key. So, let's do it. Let's just fucking do it. He's going to be out here. I remember that much. I remember that much. I remember that much. Right, I'm using my sprint. I shouldn't be. Uh, there we go. Whew. Okay. Right, we're not sprinting, we're walking. Oh, I've forgotten this game. And we're going to stick to the path as well. Some people said try sticking to the path. So that is what I shall do. He's not getting me. He's not getting me. You know, this path looks a lot like a path that Clive and Billy took. Good old Clive. You know... Oh shit. Yeah, that's fine. So anyway, yeah, Clive, um, he he was a little bit of a scaredy, scaredy rabbit. So um, when, when, he left, when he left the meadow uh, with Billy, um, he was sort of, he, he had to get very, very much um, accustomed to being outside the meadow um, because Billy had already been outside the meadow quite a few times on little trips to and from, um, to and from the lake. And um, that's where they went this time. They decided to go through the lake um, in order to get to uh, the next step of their journey. And um, by the lake, there was a wise old rat. <laughs> I was getting so engrossed in that story. There was no warning whatsoever. There was no warning whatsoever. I hope that made all of you jump. Oh my God. <sighs> right. There was a rat, a wise old rat. Quite a lot like the wise old owl, Ollie. But this rat didn't have a name. This rat didn't have a name. Um, it was just a rat that lived by the lake. Um, and was pretty much one with the lake. He didn't come with them. They tried talking to this little rat, but um, the rat just stuck his fingers in his ears and, and wouldn't, wouldn't listen to what uh, Clive and Billy had to say. And Billy was getting quite worried about Clive being so afraid of the journey, afraid of the rat, afraid of the lake. Um, he was worried that, uh, that Clive wouldn't be able to go on any further. So Billy said, look, Clive, Let's just get rid of it. Let's just go past this rat. If you can go past this rat, you can go as far as you ever could dream of going. You know, you're just going to take this first step. So, Clive took a deep breath and stepped past the rat with no name. And from there, from there, they had epic journeys. Now, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Nah, not scared of you. Okay. Walking to get the key worked. Walking to get the key worked. So I'm going to walk and get the key and then I'm going to run back. I'm going to walk through these bits of woods. Um, 
Yeah, so in fact, well, look, I'm heading east. That's exactly the way that Billy and Clive went. You know, it was getting quite late in the day by this point that they got to the lake, and they decided in that case that they were going to, um, oh shit, which way do I go? This way. They decided instead that they were going to go to, um, going to, going, going to carry on uh, towards, uh, away from the sunset. Um, Billy kept looking behind longingly back at home and thinking, oh, what a beautiful sunset that was. So they tramped on and on long into the night. <clears throat> long into the night. Right. Oh, fuck. I pressed F instead of uh, clicking. That was a stupid idea. Right, how close is he? Uh, pretty fucking close. I, I'm run out of sprint already. How the fuck have I run out of sprint already? Honestly, 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 I'm never going to fucking finish this fucking game. Is that the sawmill? That's my house. That's my house. I'm dead. I have no idea where I am. He's going to be right there. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. So they carried on away from the sunset, and after they got away from the sunset, they ran away from Slenderman! Doing it again. Yeah, fuck you. You're less scary every time I look at you, you pale freak. Now right, we're walking again, we're walking again, we're walking again. Now we'll sprint that bit there. Just sprint that bit there. Let it charge up again. We'll sprint in doses. There we go. No, this is good, this is good. Okay, now yeah, we're sprinting in doses. That's what we're gonna do. Sprint in doses. He's not there. Good. This is how you do it. This is how you do it, I bet. Yep. Don't you even fucking think about it, Slendy. Don't you even fucking think about it! Oh my god! I don't know if I'm ever ever going to be able to get past this. I don't know if I'm ever, ever, ever going to be able to get past this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they ran away into the, uh, away from the sunset. And towards the east. Now night was approaching fast for poor little Clive and Billy. Um, Clive was getting really rather cold and anxious about the whole situation. As you can understand being a scared little bunny rabbit. And um, Billy was quite a resourceful young badger, so he decided, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to sing Clive a nice little song to make him feel better and to try and see if we can, you know, stop him from getting quite so scared about this. Ah. Ah, you're there. I know what to do. He's going to get me. He's still going to get me. But I think I know what to do next time. Run out of my sprint, run out of sprint, run out of sprint, run out of sprint. Um, yeah, so as soon as, as soon as he started singing a little song, Clive immediately felt a lot better. Would you like to know how the song goes? I bet you would. <clears throat> he sang this little song to Clive. It went like this. <clears throat> oh, Clive. Oh, Clive. I can't. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go up and I'm going to lead Slendy behind because at the moment I'm having to go back past Slenderman. So if I go up and I lead him around so he's always behind me, then I can go down, get the key. Yeah, if I go up sort of the way the cave goes and then back down south again get the key and then work my way around. He should hopefully still be behind me and I won't have to get so close to him as I go past. Yep, yeah. boom, yeah, I know, I know, I know. <clears throat> so the song went thus, sorry for being interrupted before, but blame, blame Slenderman. The song went thus. Oh Clive, oh Clive, I feel so alive with you out here. There's nothing that I fear. 
Oh Clive, oh Clive, your little bunny rabbit knows it makes my fingers and my toes curl up with cuteness. Or oh, something along those lines, I don't really know. And um, anyway, yeah, so that was that was obviously really much appreciated by Clive. Um, and, he, and Billy said, um, I'm so glad you enjoyed that song. Um, I'm going to release it when we get back home. So then they thought, right, why are we out on this trip? Why have we left home? Why have we left the beautiful meadow? Um, just so um, I can be sung to and so we can meet rats and owls. And um, they decided actually, oh fuck my sprint. They decided, they decided that they were almost there. Underground tunnels. <gasps> No, it's not the underground tunnels I want to be at, is it? Oh, for God's sake. Where are the underground tunnels? In relation to the sawmill. They discussed whether they should really be going on this journey because they thought, well, we've left the meadow and we don't know really why we've left this meadow. Um, but we've left in order to, to pursue something. There's something deep in our hearts that has made us want to see more of the world. There's a lot more to it than that, boys and girls. As Ollie the Owl well knew, he knew they were going far. He knew there was something very, very big afoot that Clive and Billy played a massive, massive part in, but that didn't come for a while. Clive and Billy traveled for seven days and nights across plains, across meadows, across fields, and they could just start to see the misty mountains in the distance, mist hanging to the top of them. I've been reading The Hobbit. Let's go back out. got to be to the right. Nope, that's the construction zone. Fuck. I had the right idea, I just got lost. Bollocks. Um, yeah, so they travelled and they saw these mountains in the distance. They'd never seen mountains before and um, for once Billy was the one who was a little bit perturbed by this situation. Okay, he's gonna get me. Fuck you, Slendy. But now I know what to do. Now I really know what to do. Just make sure, just make sure that I don't run the wrong way again. It's gonna be this way, isn't it? Yep. Um, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, it's the mansion. Bollocks. Bollocks, I've got to the mansion. Didn't want to go to the mansion! Shit. I know what I'm doing now. Right, so where was the underground tunnels? In the mansion. Oh shit, I'd have no idea where I went. Right, so I need to go back up and then round and then I'll just go straight west. Oh dear, right, a little bit north. So I need to go, yeah, northwest. Lol, Slendy. Um, oh dear. Yeah, so for once Billy was the one who was a little bit upset about something. Um, and it was Clive's turn to cheer Billy up. And that made them feel a lot more comfortable with each other. That made them feel a lot more comfortable with each other. But, unfortunately, on the eighth day, Billy was being a bit, little bit too cocky, trying to get past a, um, a creek. And, uh, oh shit, I've been using up all my sprint. Try, a little bit too cocky, trying to get past a, a creek. And, um, oh, I've come straight to it as well. Fuck, why did I do that? Stupid ass. Okay, well, whatever. Ah, oh, stupid ass! Why the fuck did I do that? Stupid ass! Sprint, please! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm so tense. He could just pop up anywhere at any time. I hate this game so much. I really do. I really do. I've been playing for 15 minutes again, and I'm so about to die. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. It's the fucking underground tunnels. Again, I have no idea how I've done this. Again. Where the fuck is the sawmill? Yeah, whatever, Slendy. What the fuck ever. What the fuck ever. Okay, let's just keep walking. Keep walking. He's not going to be there. Oh fuck, yes he is. Is he going to be still back out there when I go out, or is he going to have reset? 
He's reset. Fantastic. Right, well, I went right that time, so I'm going to go back left. Oh my god, where is he? Um, yeah. Underground tunnels is that way. Well, where did I come from then? I, maybe I went too far north. There's that sign. I need to go this way. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, they were trying to... Fuck, I'm there. Oh, so is he. So is he. Lol. Um, so yeah, they were trying to cross a creek. And um, while crossing this creek, Billy, who was too busy moping and being upset about being stuck out um, on this journey and being scared of the mountains, that... Um, that's where I want to be, that's where I want to fucking be, let me in, let me in, let me the hell in, let me the fucking hell in, please, 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 let me the fucking in, no, you bastard, you bastard, you bastard, you bastard, how do I get, keep going so wrong, I need to go further north, do I? Ah, oh, I'm so shit at this. <sighs> it's gonna be a long episode, guys. It's gonna be a nice long episode for you. Oh, okay. Okay. So, what do I do? I come out of here. Right, let's follow, let's just follow the fucking path. So I see Richardson Sawmill sign, that's fine. So I come out and I'm, I'm going east. So all I need to do, yeah, okay, good. And I, I follow sign for the mansion as well. That's what I need to do. So now I'm going northeast. Here we go, yeah. So I need to go back down southwest and then west. That's what I need to do. This is fine. This is absolutely fine. I cross that path. And then I'm east again. Okay. So I need to go dirt, dirt, dirt. It's like a zigzag. It's like a Z. Or a Z if you're American. Lol. Okay, round the lake. Round the lake. Sprint a little bit. Sprint a little bit. Get in behind us. Getting behind us, nice and behind us. So, west. Then I need to go, was it south? Yeah, southwest. For quite a way. Yep, okay. And then through these woods, that's absolutely fine. That's absolutely fine. And then west. And that's the thing I need to get to. That is the thing I need to get to. And I am so almost there. And I am so almost there, it is almost unbelievable. And I just need to get in here. Please fucking let me get in here, Slendy. Please fucking let me get in here, Slendy. Please fucking let me get in here, Slendy. <gasps> Please fucking let me get in here, Slendy. Please fucking let me get in here, Slendy. Please fucking let me get in here, Slendy. Please get me through the door. Save progress. Please save progress. Why aren't you saving progress, you prick? Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck, this is new. Don't hide. Uh, why not? I want to hide. But I want to hide. Just run. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. I'm ru I can't fucking move any faster than I'm going. I can't move any faster than I'm fucking going. Let me run. Stop flashing at me. Don't, I'm not looking back. I'm not looking back. I'm not looking back. I'm not looking back. Please run. Please run. Slow me! Fuck! Fuck you. Exit, 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 exit. Oh my god. God, indeed. Is that remains of Cody? Oh my goodness. Do not slow down, never safe, closer than you think, we'll get you everywhere, stands in shadows. Slenderman, Slenderman, forsaken. Please save my progress. Found a pistol and some ammo. I'm gonna fucking shoot, Slenderman. Can I please save my progress? I don't wanna have to do all this again. I can't save it automatically, it saves. Oops. Okay, interesting. <sighs> so Billy fell into this creek, as I started telling you about 10 minutes ago, and he hurt his ankle. He very much hurt his ankle, his back left ankle to be precise. And Clive just didn't know what to do. For a day and a half, they had to sit there whilst Billy moaned and wailed about his ankle. And Clive, being a little bunny rabbit, <coughs> needed to go and eat some grass, but there was no grass where they were. They were in a forest. Just a little forest creek. It's not good. Such a shame. Such a shame. Poor little Billy. Progress saved. Press spacebar to shoot. I am gonna fucking shoot him. Oh, fuck! 
can't see him properly. Where is he? There! Um, quite sure what happened there. It's very difficult to see. Very difficult to see. Oh, there he is. Come on, you prick. Where are you? Huh? Huh? I'm not scared of you now, I've got a gun. See how I'm not scared of him I am? Underground tunnels, bitch. Come on then, where are you, huh? Yep, 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 whatever. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, made me jump. Back here where you got me before, huh? I think I got it, but it's not dead yet. Ah, I shot you, you prick. Yeah, bitch. You're gonna get me in the dark, huh? Is that what you're gonna do? You're gonna try and get me in the dark? I can walk through the lake. Wow, brilliant. Pond, whatever the fuck it is. So, um, yeah. Clive was getting really quite desperate because his best friend Billy was getting so distraught. And that's when Billy, dis uh, Clive decided to pray. He decided to pray to the um, to Freya, the mother of nature that used to look after them in the in the meadow and dwelled in that forest. Oh feck! Did I shit? Did I get him? I think I did. Brilliant. Epic, Steve. Um, and. And as they shit, as Clive prayed, he could feel the air turning thicker and more lush. The plants around him sprouted more and more green, and Freya, the goddess of the forest, appeared before them, vines dangling off, tiny little weevils crawling in and out of in and out of her clothing which was made of fur and heather it's dead finally now I can leave or can I? um I'm not convinced. I'm so not convinced. And Freya came up with golden light in her hands, said one word, Billy, and then breathed the golden light onto Billy's broken ankle, twisted ankle, and Billy was miraculously healed. Much to Clive's pleasure, she disappeared in a mist of haze and beautiful birdsong. And that's the end of that part of the story because I am shitting myself now. I thought I'd finished, I thought I'd killed the fucker. But no, apparently I haven't. Apparently I've just gotta walk along this freaking track. Well, it doesn't seem to be static or anything. Oh God, finished my drink. Could do with some more. I really could do with some more. Come on, come on, come on! Where are you? You bastard. Don't, don't, don't. I can't move. I can't actually move. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, no, 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 no! Oh god! Oh no, 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 I didn't kill him. I told you I couldn't kill him. I told you I couldn't kill him. I told you you couldn't kill him. I told you that you couldn't kill him. Oh. What a game. I tried to move my arm and there's no feeling, and when I look, I see there's nothing there. Oh shit. Something warm is flowing down my fingers. Pain is flowing all through my back. Life is flowing out of my body. Pain is flowing out with my blood. Hey, you're not the only one who can write poems, mate. The ground is red and moist where I'm lying. God in heaven, teach me how to die. Oh, that's awful. Slender's Woods. Slender's Woods.
Well done, Zykov, Eddie. Honestly. Oh, thank you for watching my final part to this. Thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed it. Aseptic Void. <laughs> but that was one of the best, that is the best Slender game I've played. Fuck Haunt, fuck um, all of the Slender Shadow ones. Like that had a good story, that had decent jumps. I had some pretty good programming and that was good. I enjoyed that very much. Except, well, obviously I didn't. Oh dear. We might have to wait until another time to finish the story of Clive and Billy, or we may just let it lie there and may maybe, maybe when I've got my website up and running, you can visit our forum, our forum, my forum, and um, I'll have a thread there called Finish Clive and Billy, and you can post your finishing touches or uh, like have another adventure that they've had or something like that. That would be nice. That would be very nice. I've just been cracking my fingers. Click, click, click. Ready for more? Clearly not. Anyway, thank you for playing. Thank you for making the game. Oh, and now I'm going to turn it off and cry. Because that's the third scary game I've played today. And I have had enough, yeah? So, thank you for watching. Take care, Stalk Troopers. <laughs>